All right, guys, welcome to our uh, Let's Play of uh, Clock Tower Struggle Within, the next in the Clock Tower series of games. We're doing them all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, uh, this means that uh, we're going to be looking at Struggle Within, which is kind of the low point in this series. Um, just in terms of uh, just being a little more boring than the rest of the games. Yeah, boring, and as you're going to see... Um, not to pepper your expectations too much, but just not the most uh, polished of stories. It uh, it definitely seems... Say what you want about the Clock Tower games, but at least the first two seem to have a sense of direction mm -hmm. and a goal they wanted to accomplish. Clock Tower to struggle within, or <laughs> Clock Tower struggle within, uh, it's just... It feels kind of aimless in its goals. Mm -hmm. um, like they weren't really sure what sort of game they wanted to make. Yeah, which uh, we're going to get the full experience. Um of this meandering mess. Um, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's All start right. her up. <laughs> Look, spooky mask. <laughs> this gonna... game's already really scary. I I don't know if I could do this. Oh, I didn't sleep tonight. I... <laughs> well... Alyssa just called. Philip Should and uh, Catherine tonight? here, living in their Japanese style house. Look at that spacing okay. on that text. Look How at that giant bottle of gin. Yeah. Is that Children Bombay Sapphire? Probably is. <laughs> Everything will be okay. <laughs> Famous last words, Uncle Philip. I love that so he. Uh, I love the thinning hair on the top of his head. Yeah, it looks like uh, it looks like an apple slicer. <laughs> <laughs> apple slicer head. Oh. That might be Ashley. I'll go and see. <laughs> I feel like they should be more excited, but they're just really subdued. <laughs> Damn kids coming home from university. Uh, I don't care about her very much. He's not even gonna get up. I'll inhale. That Maxwell curse is... You can see up your sleeve. I like how... <laughs> He just stops there before she even screams. He, he was not I, yeah. intending to finish that sentence. The, uh, the voice acting in this one is pretty great. And it's not even just the the, uh, the voices itself, but as you could tell by that scene, the timing is a little off. It feels like everything was... Every single line of dialogue was written and spoken in just Hello, such isolation from each other. Aunt Catherine? Yeah, it's the Alyssa. inflection's not very good. Even when Alyssa's talking to herself, it yeah. sounds wrong. So you can see there she took off her shoes and she's put on her house slippers, which you may not find very interesting, but now she shuffles through this entire scenario. <laughs> it's wonderful. Look at that. And so, like, she's just visiting too, so she brought her own house slippers. Well, this is based on uh, Japanese. Yeah. Like, you take your shoes off at the door and you put on the house slippers usually provided for guests. Yeah. Oh, I see. As far as I know. I could be wrong. Maybe everyone carries around their own house slippers there. Someone want to confirm? Uh, we're too busy looking at this freaking gangrenous leg in a toilet. Is Look it a leg, though, or is it a just... It's clearly a tree has grown up through their toilet. It's a combination sink toilet. Look at that. Well, no, the sink's in the other room. No, there's a sink, like, on the top of the toilet tank. No, I think that's the toilet tank. No, that looked like a sink. If that was a sink, I'm gonna be a little mad. <laughs> Actually, you might be right. I don't remember if the sink's in this room. Oh, it's not! Oh, I was right. Oh, you were. Toilet sink. Now I'm just mad. So also, clearly someone has just spilled copious <laughs> amounts of mustard. This is... The, this is one of the uh, first kind of failing points of the game. As you're going to quickly see, we basically kind of have to wander around at the beginning, triggering all these event plagues. Uh, um, just finding body parts, and you're not allowed to deviate. Yeah. You would think that, like, you would only have to find one body part, you know? Like, and then she'd be like, yeah, freaked out enough, but no. Yeah, like, especially, like, a severed torso. Like, you can't really not see a severed torso and not go, yeah, someone obviously is okay, 
They, they didn't die from this. That's cool. Well, yeah. maybe the family's just playing a Halloween prank on her. I... <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> I mean, as you saw, they're not really too happy about her arrival. Uh, Alyssa, it's not really explicitly stated here, but Alyssa just came from a mental hospital where she's been hanging out. Mm. Again, this is another failing of the game here in that they don't have a contained story. Yeah, we, we kind of saw a suggestion of uh, something in Alyssa's backstory in the uh, introductory uh fmv where we saw her kind of drenched in red uh lighting and looking a little spooky um maybe she just hung out in a place with red lighting yeah. like i don't think that's it's necessarily She's an indicator part of the theater club yeah it it's fine out. it's all right hmm. and this is clearly okay <laughs> I mean, if you saw there, I was looking around, and you literally can't click on anything but that arm. Oh, it forces you to click on it. Yep. But also, the arm's just like, none of the other body that? parts were moving, but apparently the arm. I... <laughs> this is the best line reading in the game. What? How? It's only an arm? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? I... Clearly, they had the voice I, actors for, like, two hours. That was yeah. their allotted time, and they could not afford any retakes. I'm so confused what sort of inflection or tone she was trying to adopt there. <sighs> Your guess is as good as mine. Yeah. Shuffle, shuffle. She drags her feet. Well, yeah, she's in house slippers. They fall off your feet. <laughs> Oh my god, as we're gonna see, um, Alyssa gets menaced by a, not, not Scissor Man, but another, uh, stalker character. Um, I, it'd be really great if, while, uh, while we're being stalked by them, that one of our slippers flies off her feet and we're just laying there prone on the floor, unable to continue. Yeah, this one's a little annoying because, uh, I actually found I had to trigger, like, there's not an automatic part where she comes in and starts menacing you. I actually had to go trigger. Hmm. So it was kind of annoying in that part. But, uh, more about her later. Now every time she moves, I just picture her, like, just like a train, just... I know, right? The other thing that really ticks me off about that door is it won't open, but... There's no evidence of anything supernatural going on here. Yeah, mysteriously won't open. Ah, uh, it's like a plot device or something. Yeah. And again, it's like, I don't know. I mean, it must admittedly be hard to try and justify why won't the door open um, so many times in uh, works of fiction like this. Um, but it's like, just having no explanation doesn't really make any sense either. Or just attributing the explanation to, ooh, spooky magic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are a couple of ways to get around that. Like, A, when they go to the door, go, oh, I can't leave without finding out what's happened to my family. Like, that's a reason enough. Yeah. Or B, if you try to leave, you open the door and the killer comes and stabs you. I just want to interrupt here. That looks like a poster for uh, Clock Tower 2 on her wall there. It sure is. Nice little reference. Mm hmm. Alright, you gonna... <laughs> now, if you've played Clock Tower 3, you're gonna recognize this music. Yeah. Uh... I... I don't really know the point of that reference, but... Um... It's cute enough, I guess. I love how... And I mean, it's... <laughs> there's obviously... You're gonna be limited what you can do um, in this era. <laughs> I love how she just runs away. <laughs> From Scary Piano. Well, that wasn't... Wait, so that wasn't something you clicked? No, it? she just auto-runs right out. Oh. She'll often do this if something scary happens in the room. And, okay, so we're just going back in. Oh, What's yeah. point? You're just... Uh, it's... Like, there's no punishment for you getting scared. You just ran out of the room. It's just a momentary inconvenience. Yeah. And oh, so is that a suitcase? Because no. it's a really badly oh, no. done suitcase. Ashley. I I think so. Um, it kind of just looked like a display case. Well, because this heads. is this is uh her cousin Ashley, who I think was coming home 
Um, from college. My amulet? Yeah, so I guess... Oh no, Alyssa's dropped your amulet. Oh, what's going on? So this is one of the one of the core gameplay mechanics in this game. Uh, when Alyssa doesn't have her amulet and she gets frightened or attacked, she turns into her alternate personality. Now, uh, in order to progress in the game, you will often have to turn into Bates, who is totally a lot more awesome than Alyssa. <laughs> Get shit done. He does. He's fantastic. Um... It's, it's sort of interesting because in our uh, Clock Tower for the PlayStation 1 review, or LP, we mentioned that uh, it might be interesting if, as you're playing as Helen or Jennifer, if there were differences between the characters, if Helen could perform certain actions that Jennifer couldn't and vice versa. You kind of get that with, uh, with Bates and Alyssa here, but it's a little ham-fisted in that, um, as we're going to see later on, as Bates, you can use weapons, um, such as a gun, but uh, Alyssa will refuse to use the gun. So instead of... I mean, I guess it's supposed to be because Alyssa is terrified of this kind of violence. Yeah. Because, I mean, her backstory, which I don't believe is talked about in the game, is that uh, Bates uh, happened to surface during a fight with some classmates and he totally mm -hmm. killed them. So it would make sense that Alyssa would be afraid of it, but it's still, it's like, if there's a monster coming after you, maybe, yeah. like, maybe you have to get over this. It's one of those things that it makes sense when you're, car when it's just Alyssa kind of interacting with normal people. She doesn't want to hurt others, but when you're being legitimately threatened, it just seems like a ham-fisted way to just prevent some, you from yeah. doing something. Yeah, it's Alyssa's And have amulet. some differences between the characters. The other thing is is that there's uh, certain events you can only trigger as Alyssa or as Bates, but uh, figuring out who you need to be at a certain point in the game can yeah. be really, uh, really obtuse and hard to figure out. Yeah, and at some of those points, um, if you're... If you trigger the scene with the wrong character, it leads to your instant death. Mm -hmm. Instant um, death, or in some cases, terrible endings, or, yeah. you know. Um, which is fine. It's good to have that kind of... Uh... I. It's good to have a... Um, a Punishment isn't the word I'm looking for. Um, consequence? Yeah, there we go. It's, it's good to have a con consequence for if you make the wrong decision, but it seems a little unfair when you're not really given all the information to make a fully formed decision. Mm -hmm. You're often just uh, wind or blindly uh, messing around mm -hmm. and making saves and then hoping that maybe this time I'll figure it out. Yeah, maybe it'll be fine. Because yeah. um, the game, if the game was more of a pleasure to explore and try out different outcomes, mm -hmm. but unfortunately it's just kind of tedious and annoying to constantly die and... Yeah. The other thing is, is you can trigger an event in, say, the first scenario that will carry on to the last scenario. There's something mm. written And here. you play through all it this gameplay to find out help. that you're screwed. Yeah, that's, that's sort of like a dead man walking scenario that you have in a lot of point-and-click adventure games where you do something that you have no idea has just screwed you over and you're able to continue playing the game um, until you get to a certain point where, you know, you realize you, you done goofed. Another weird thing about Alyssa is she won't use pistols, but she's more than happy to take them. Hmm. Which is kind of odd to me. Yeah. Because are you just preparing for baits? Mm -hmm. Like, are you just enabling him at this point? Yeah. Like, I, I appreciate that she is picking up the, uh, the weapons. So at this point, we have to activate the statue. Uh, and if you don't activate the statue at this point, you will actually get yourself a bad ending oh. later, um... In the third scenario of the game <laughs> so it's something that's very easy to miss and he this guy just kind of acts as a, as a room like he doesn't follow you around the house uh, the second that you leave the room he's in the music will stop and he won't be there anymore okay uh, the thing is is he will hang out in a room for several minutes hmm. um, making uh, some you know making getting to certain points of the game it can be sort of frustrating mm -hmm. uh, is, uh... <laughs> is that green toilet paper uh, probably. <laughs> it's probably been in infected. Alright, so I'm just gonna deke him out here and quickly run into the other room. Alright. Yeah. I guess to, to point out, we uh, picked up Alyssa's amulet a little while back. In case you missed it, the amulet is what 
prevents Alyssa from turning into Bates. So at certain points in the game, um, we're going to need to deliberately remove the amulet and then scare Alyssa so that we could turn into Bates. Mm -hmm. Um, the interesting thing... Uncle Philip! Alyssa, you're okay! About, uh... Uncle Philip, what happened? Why are you just hiding in a corner like a small no child? No. Well, clearly, you if he can't hide. see her... <laughs> and she can't see him. No one, no one will notice me. I, I mean, my hiding place is flawless. It's not like my right, niece I'm totally glad. just walked over and was like, "Sup." Did, do you like the astroturf? We just put it in. <laughs> <laughs> Woot. So this is an interesting thing. Uh, another mechanic in the game is that if you need uh, healing, unlike in the other two clock tower games where you're you had to rest or your health would just slowly build back up over time, mm -hmm. you need to find first aid kits here. Uh, so if your health gets low, you better start randomly clicking. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> so we, did we even dial a number? Nope. Uh, we apparently just picked up the phone and it threatened oh, to kill us. All right. Um... Screw you too, yeah, phone. Same to you, buddy. Yeah. Oh, bye, Uncle Philip. Um, do you want me to turn the light off for you? Apparently not. <laughs> this room is super boring. I. Uh, it is kind of like a nice little room. Um, it's a little less boring than uh, some of the backgrounds in uh, the PlayStation. Ah! Oh. So you can see now he's moved somehow. I. Bye. Yeah, well, we... we uh, technically, the place we need to go isn't around here anyways. Yeah. This room doesn't serve much purpose other than being a room to, like, yeah, probably hide or attack in. So, um, not a very effective stalker, that dick guy, eh? Well, no. Um, Kind of just, you see him and then you have more than enough time to uh, wander away. Well, I mean, it depends on where he's located. There's a few places where if you come out of the door and he's there, it's seriously irritating. Yeah, he just... You, you basically just blunder right into him, I take it? Oh, yeah. So, uh, Uncle Philip uh, smartly decided to crawl out of his corner and go hide somewhere else, it seems. Yeah. So at this point, um, what is Alyssa's goal? Why is she wandering the house? Um, your guess is as good as mine. I think she's probably just trying to find out what happened to her family, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Alyssa's never really given much motivation. Yeah, it's, I mean, I th think... Oh no! <laughs> There's something awful <sighs> on our cousin's bed. Statue? What is this? It it's possessed. I'm glad she could figure that out by looking at it. Well, I mean, it's it just electrocuted kind of her, so... Well, maybe, uh, yeah. I mean, I guess the other possible explanation is her uh, experience with uh, Bates yeah. has made her somewhat of an expert on being possessed. Yeah, possibly. So, um, that's not the same uh, statue that was in the previous two games, correct? No. Okay. This is clearly gold and not a demon statue. Hmm. It's just gold and dumb. <laughs> this is a huge room. I well, get... this is our, our little cousin Stephanie's room. This is still a huge room for a little kid. I I guess maybe uh, Uncle Philip is pretty well off. Um, well, I mean, the fact that he even lives in a house, I mean, in Japan, that would indicate that they are pretty well off. Yeah. A lot of people in Japan live in apartments, hmm. um, and houses are kind of a novelty. They're something for people who are definitely more well off. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, he is the director of a pharmaceuticals lab too, so okay. you'd assume he'd probably make yeah he'd make some money. So we can kind of assume that maybe part of our objective is this in this level is going to be involving the uh, spooky electrocuting statue. I would assume um, so. It would be dumb if they just introduced <laughs> to nothing. But I still think though, and it's one of those My things cousin. that it's like. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. Uh oh. I feel bad about that. You should. She's yeah. dead. Have some decency. But, so you, I don't know. I, again, it's like, the stuff like this kind of has to happen for the sake of a game, but 
you do get kind of bored when you have a character who stumbles in, sees clearly dead bodies, and goes, I must continue to investigate instead of attempting to... Ooh. That's always a good sign. Stephanie? Well, I mean, presumably in Uncle Philip's room she tried to call the police, but the phone threatened to kill her. So. <laughs> yeah, true. Just saying, maybe she's out of options. I wonder where Michael went. Plus, the door's mysteriously blocked. Mm -hmm. So, we have revealed the names of two additional characters. So, we have Michael and Stephanie. Well. And... The funny thing about Michael is if he's not sitting in the chair here, you don't really run into him. And he only sits in the chair if he's a corpse, so. Oh, okay. So we can actually... <laughs> oh, my God. It happened twice. Oh, so spooky. <laughs> do it again. No. No. We got shit to do. Could you just keep doing that? No. I wonder where oh. Michael went. Oh, God. I miss when computers were that big. Right? You could kill a man with that. Yeah. Oh, man. We could have used that as a weapon. Oh, that would be pretty good. Michael be pissed. <laughs> Yep. Just, and, just and a the key, key, I guess. Don't you keep your keys in the closet? I usually keep them on the floor. I won't lie. <laughs> um, I am a messy, unorganized person. Um, if somebody were ever to have to wander through my house trying to find a means of escape, they uh, would not uh, be able to go that far. <laughs> Crap, I can't find anything. Can't, oh, now I'm dead. I can't find the key to the front door. Check under the bed. It falls down there sometimes. <laughs> oh no, there's a horrible killer under the bed. Stab in the head, dead. Why is there a jug of lemonade under the bed? Oh, that's just gross. It's actually lemonade, I swear. Oh, that's even worse. <laughs> so, uh, I guess right here, as you kind of see, we definitely just blundered into, uh... <gasps> Not Scissor Man. Yep. Instead, we're just gonna. The thing that's irritating about fighting this guy is whenever you evade him, you immediately just hop right back in uh. to the room you were in. So that's why he becomes kind of a pain in the ass. He becomes very difficult to navigate if you're stuck in a bad location. I wonder why it did that exactly. If there is a reason for it that the developers kind of put in um, to kind of force you to retreat. It's probably that, so that you don't get stuck in a corner. Yeah. But, I don't know, it's still really irritating. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Sounds like she's constantly walking on gravel. Maybe, maybe her slippers are filled with gravel. I appreciate the dark void that this house exists in. <laughs> well, it makes it spookier. Hmm. That's why she can't leave, because if she opens the door, she'll get sucked into space. <laughs> Is that a is that a picture of of Jennifer Connelly above the desk there? I it's hard to tell. It kind of looks like it could be though. At this resolution, any brunette, long-haired woman could possibly be Jennifer Connelly. Well, that's true. I didn't click fast enough there on the door, so we're just gonna run right back into that oh, room. Oh no. Yeah. Just checking out her inventory. Yeah, just uh, yeah, we could shoot him if we weren't Alyssa. Yep. So we're just gonna hang out in his room for a minute or two till uh Trying. Mr. Statue goes away. Yeah, which don't you love this in a game? Um, so good. Waiting. The forced waiting period. Yeah. Such action. All right, he's gone. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. <laughs> shuffle, shuffle. I suppose I could have ran during more of this, but I don't know. I feel like the shuffling really brings home <laughs> the game experience. So we really need a first aid kit at this point, because you can see our indicator arrow is red. Oh, okay. So yeah. that's where you get your kind of indication of your health. Uh-huh. Hmm. Um, so in this case, if I were to try and take on Samurai Man and duck away from him again, I would die. Mm -hmm. Because I just wouldn't have the strength to fight him off. Oh. Yeah. That's kind of interesting way to way to put it. Well, I mean, in the other Clock Tower games, we never really went into this much, but uh, any time that you're at red health... I'm gonna answer it. I should probably answer it. But anytime you're at red health and you get attacked, you're it's pretty much insta death. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. Why do phones always want to kill us? 
And it is. <laughs> I'm going and to. Why is she still on the phone? Just making sure you knew. <laughs> and we get spooked out of the room? Again, yeah. Oh, spooky God. phone. Too spooky for me. And now we go back right in the room. Yep. Which, you know, great job. I could kind of maybe see it when there is a, like, when you just got attacked in a room and she runs out. But when it's a phone, it's just unnecessary. Mm-hmm. It just makes her look really silly. Yeah. But so, uh, as we heard, the the voice on that phone call was different from the voice that we heard uh, in Uncle Philip's room. Perhaps of a young girl. Hmm. Or Scissor Man from the last game. <laughs> Oh god, you're right, it's just Edward. Mm. Oh my goodness. So you have to turn on the light uh, most of the time in this game in order to actually be able to do anything. Mm -hmm. um, if you noticed before uh, I was going into the bathroom and stuff, I was stopping to turn on the switch. And that's because that switch controls the bathroom lights. And if you go into the bathroom without the lights on, you don't get to do anything. <laughs> you just get to exit and turn on the damn lights. Which just... It's not like you can't see that there's a dead body in there, it's just that Alyssa can't see it. Yeah, because it's dark. And now I have a first aid kit, so I'm fine. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, do we automatically use the first aid kit every time we yes. pick one up? You never. It doesn't go into your inventory. Oh. So it's best to only find them when you're hurt. Which, if you haven't played before, you're probably going to be wasting a lot yeah, of first aid kits. so at full health, if we stumbled upon one, we would just waste it. At least, as far as I know, maybe she does just save it until she doesn't have a... Uh... Hmm. Yeah. So we're going to drop the amulet here. Put so... it into this nice vase. Any place in the game that you you check and it says everything looks normal here, that's a place you can store your amulet. Oh, interesting. And yeah. Yeah, we are just putting it in a vase, vase I guess. Well, if you just, like, left it out, maybe someone would steal it and you'd yeah. be stuck as Bates forever. <laughs> Which brings to, like, why would Bates ever pick up the amulet if it, he knows it's what suppresses him? Well, I... Th it's... The one interesting part about this game is the relationship with Alyssa and Bates. Because it does seem, um... Although... Stop. Stephanie, stop. Oh, hold on. Please. I gotta hold my thought because there might be plot happening. Possible. But not likely. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it seems like there's uh, more of a symbiotic relationship between Alyssa and Bates. Um, I think he probably recognizes that um, he needs Alyssa. In order to maintain a mask of normalcy? Yeah, and he needs her to be able to trust him in order to do anything. I suppose that's true. Because, mm -hmm. of course, if Bates doesn't pick up... Whoa. Oh. oh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> So Catherine, here, if you if you Hurry. have the amulet run. and you knock her over, you get stabbed in the stomach. No, because because uh, Bates out. doesn't come to uh, save the day. Yeah. <laughs> it's super Hurry Saiyan up, charging up. <laughs> so here. do you know what the stalker's name is in the original Bam. Japanese game instead of just Stephanie? Uh, no, I do not. It's Chinatsu. Next time. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a play on uh, China, the country, because her design is very... Like a it's... China doll? Yes. It's huh. got the uh, the bow in her hair and... Is it based on any um, sort of mythology? Because I, I, I know I've seen um, some folklore pictures where they have the kind of white face and the... I'm not sure entirely. I've heard discussion that it could be that somewhat racist, but we let's let's not get into that. I'm sorry. We just too. Well, we have to we, lock the door. We locked her in the room, which I'm sure she'll end up just busting out. But that was kind of stupid. <laughs> stupid, but also sort of great, and just the simplicity of oh no, shit, she's she's in the next room. What do I do? Yeah. Lock. Although. <laughs> Well, Bates is pretty great. Let's just get this mm -hmm. clear. Um, I really love Bates, even though he's a total asshole, because uh, he kicks people. He he provides a bit of welcome sass in a otherwise kind of dull game. Mm -hmm. But uh, as we sort of saw from the beginning, um, there's kind of this dual identity of Alyssa, which 
sort of reminds me of uh, Barton from the uh, previous game we LP'd, the Clock Tower PlayStation 1 game, where he was kind of researching multiple personalities. Um, as you saw in the uh, in the intro cutscene, there's kind of the suggestion that there's that Bates is maybe just an alternate personality of Alyssa. Um, it seems a little unclear to me if it's meant to be a possession or if he is just this manifestation of Alyssa's psyche. What do, What do you think? I know the answer, but I believe that, that it's stuff? sort of explained in the game, so okay. we'll we'll hold off on that one. Um. It's been a while There's since I've played it, here. so if it isn't adequately Tell explained, I'll get into it myself. Okay. But, yeah. For now, we'll just curse. wait. The curse is what's causing this to happen. Curse? We're doomed. The Maxwell curse is gonna kill us all. Sorry, Aunt Catherine. Okay. <laughs> Not a word said. Poor Alyssa. Oh. At this point, she knows about as much as we do. Yeah. This kerosene heater still works. Okay. No, there's a reason. Because we're gonna take it. We're gonna take the tank. So we had to click twice in order to get that item. Well, yeah, because if you just, like, opened it up and took out the tank... Like... I don't know, I feel like uh, it, it's kind of stupid, but at least if you check it once and it says it still works, that indicates that there is gas in the can, whereas you wouldn't know that if you just I, picked it up, but it's I still stupid. Yes, I sort of feel like it's more trying to almost trick you into, you click it once and it does a thing and you go, okay, I'm not going to bother clicking twice, I've already seen the thing that it does. Um... Mostly because a lot of items in games like these, you click once and that's it. You, If you continue clicking, you're not going to get any other special message. Um, so I sort of feel like when you, whenever you have to click twice on something, it's just the developer's way of trying to make you sneakily miss something. Yeah, it's kind of a fuck you. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's it for the first half of the first scenario of Clock Tower Struggle Within. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be back next week with uh, part two. See you then.